Before the video starts, I would like to thank you guys. We are almost at 3000 subscribers and growing. All the supportive comments are the fuel that pushes me to make videos. Thank you. Signature scanning. Why do we need it? Well, you might not want to update addresses each time the game has a patch. To avoid this, we take our unique part of memory, which doesn't change and then search through the game for its sequence and return the address of it. This video does not tell you how to get your signatures, but rather how we can scan for these patterns in C Sharp. If you want to know how to make this in C++, then I recommend watching Casual Gamer's exceptional tutorial. To understand the code we will write, let's illustrate what goes on. Here we have a signature. This is what we will try to find in the process memory. We will use question marks for the bytes we want to ignore comparing. First we dump the targeted memory region into a byte array. Now that we have the data needed, we can start scanning for our pattern. Notice that we store the position we are at all times. We will check the first byte in our pattern and compare it to our region position byte. If it does not match, we increment our position by one and check again. If it does match, we check the next position and compare again. For bytes who shouldn't match, we simply ignore and move on to the next one. If the sequence in the region and our pattern match, we will return the position, which will be the wanted address. Now that we have our understanding, let's dive into the console project. To read the game's memory, we have to import read process memory. Now we need the process information. I will use the game Plants vs Zombies. Then create an array with the size of the main module's memory size. You can use a different module, just remember to get its base and size. Now we fill our buffer with our module's memory region. We will have a method to transform our string array to an integer array, to make it easier to manage. Set the question mark byte to minus one, so we can tell which ones to ignore. Now for the main signature scan method, it will return a pointer list containing the addresses for the signatures it found in the memory. We will use a nested for loop like the illustration and add the address if the B loop doesn't break. Now let's test it on the game. Okay, so I have the game Plants vs Zombies here. We have our signature. Let's run our program. And it spits out one address since we right line. Let's take that address. I don't even know if I copied it, but let's add the address in Chitanya. About uh, six. And we browse this memory region. And if you take a look here, it matches our signature. So. 
I think we have found the right one. If we take this instruction, replace it with nothing, it will let us plant any plant we want without losing suns. So this is the uh, instruction that changes the suns when we buy towers. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, source code will be available I think for this video since it might be a bit hard. But I will see you guys in a di different video. Have a good one.